Okay, let's say I was going to marry you, right? Let's just say I'm going to marry you. Let's say our rent is $3,000. Uh, would you expect me to pay all the rent, all the mortgage, or half the mortgage? If our rent was $3,000? Mm -hmm. I would expect for you to pay... <laughs> See, I was raised different, but I would expect for you to pay... As a man taking the lead, all of it. Mm -hmm. Taking the lead, meaning what? So a man taking the lead, and guess what? I should really be paying $600. Oh, why? Why? Because you live there? You absolutely well, right. Oh, no. oh, well, I wanna... You got to listen. You want to know? Because you come with you and three people. I come with me. 3000 divided by five is $600. I got $600 worth of that living space. I ain't living in all those rooms. It's, <laughs> it's the That's the difference. And I don't even get a kid. See, that means I'm paying to raise somebody else's children. And let's just say, in my scenario, you decided to give me one child. And then I come to the table with food a piece of a pizza that has 18 slices and there are four children and two adults that's six people uh do you expect every person to eat equally each person get three slices yeah that'll feel you uh -huh. <laughs> and that's bullshit because my kids should eat my food your children need to eat out of your power out of out of your portion See, and that's the thing, like... Oh, listen, this is how men think. I should bring food for you, me, and my child. So that means I get six slices, my kid gets six slices, you get six slices. And if you want your three children from another man to eat, you need to take your six slices and divide it with them. We'll let that happen. So if they're stepping into this and they're paying more than 20%, they're getting screwed. You should have the financial, those children that you chose to make should be self-sustaining by the man you chose to make them with. The man you choose to get with, cause he's getting no kids, the best should have to pay 20% of every, 20% of the lights, mortgage, gas, utilities, groceries, whatever, and whatever. You want men to come in and provide all this because you're the head of house and you're this. And y'all do this stuff when y'all are living like rebels, having babies out of wedlock, not doing anything traditional. And then at the later point, start talking this traditional stuff what a man's supposed to do. Well, a woman is supposed to be a wife before she is a mother and she's supposed to stay. If you don't have that first, you can't say what a man is supposed to do. A double standard, like I said. Like I just feel like men are out here dating as well, and they have multiple children. First off, not, not all men... First off, 54% of black men are single and childless. So not all men, most men don't have any kids. 30% of black men are married. So the men who out here are multiple children are roughly about 16 to 20% of men. But that just happens to be the men that y'all make babies with. 50% of black men are unmarried and childless. 30% of black men are married. Therefore, these women are having babies with about 20% of the black men in the United States. The Pookies and the Ray Rays. Here's the better question. Why didn't you get married before you decided to have kids? Me personally? Mm -hmm. The question was never asked. But why then why would you give a man the, the 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 greatest blessing a woman can give a man without him even having to make you his wife and give you his last name? Hmm. 
Y'all don't seem to understand that men are, are not raising nobody else's kids. And this is in black America in particular. Black women have gotten to the point to where you guys almost expect black men to just be stepdaddies. And when we tell you to no, y'all are like, what? What? <laughs> All our kids are out of way, ma. Well, we didn't say we want this shit. Men are not signing up to be stepfathers because I'm going to ask you, what is the advantage for a childless man to come in to be a stepfather in a situation like yours or just in general? What's the advantage to the man? See that side, gentlemen? That side <laughs> was that side of there ain't one. Any woman who's raised to be a wife tends to get married because women who are raised to be wife to be wives are in high demand. We don't have enough wives for the husbands today. We got plenty of women who want to get married, but we don't have enough wives. Wives are in high demand. They get taken like this. Wives don't marry, and the wives don't have babies out of wear a lot. Wives don't do 10 year relationships, three year, five year, 10, seven year relationships without wedding rings. They don't do none of that. Wives ain't on Instagram with the ass all out and different color weaves and wives. <laughs> wives ain't doing none of that shit. Wives ain't got tattoos and fake floppy. Wives don't have none of that. Wives have none of that. Every time you see a woman, you can look, you can men know when they're looking at a wife. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video.